Okay, everybody, it's time to get healthy. We have Health Matters right now. We have Shine back in the studio. Good morning, Shine. Good morning, Catherine. Hey, so how was your weekend? Um, I went on my major grocery shopping. Oh, over I the weekend? About uh-huh. Once a week. Mm-hmm. So I, once a week, I go like a major grocery shopping consistent of like usually what I eat during the week. Okay. And but sometimes I go on a smaller shopping during the week as well. Mm. So yeah. I'm kind of curious though because you know uh, you're our resident health buff. So what do you usually buy? Is it like completely like 100% like really really healthy? Mm, yeah, I think uh, my grocery shopping list is pretty healthy. Oh, okay. Well, I'm Korean, but mm-hmm. I studied in the U.S. for a few years, and uh-huh. that's when I became a personal trainer. So I have both like Korean and Western style uh, healthy grocery shopping. Okay. Um, so and I'm not the best cook. I'm still learning. <laughs> right. Um, so I'm sure most of our listeners can get some useful ideas. They can they can get some um, they can get some healthy tips. So that's good. gonna be today's topic. Well, I think that's really good because when we think of like health matters, this segment, people might think it's all about like working out and exercising. But you know, diet, what you eat, mm-hmm. that's really important too, right? Yeah. Like mm. it. Actually, it contributes about 70 to 80% of your fitness goal. Right, yes. right. So, so what you eat matters. Absolutely. So I'm very curious. Um, how do you go about shopping? Do you like just have something in mind? Do you have a list? How do you do it? Uh, of course, I have a list. Okay. So I advise making a grocery shopping list, oh. especially if you are not used to um, healthy grocery shopping. Okay. Um, so I do I do like this layout, like carb, my carb choice, oh. and protein and fat choice, uh-huh. and veggies and fruit choice. So I, I make the list of this, and then I make a list at home so I know what's in my kitchen or what's not. Ah. So I don't buy things like overlapping. <laughs> and this prevent you from buying more than what you need. True. So and I I I really advise avoid shopping when you're hungry. <laughs> I've done that and that is not you may a good buy thing. whatever you feel like at the moment and then most mostly they're gonna be junk. Right. So, yeah. I, I actually adhere to that uh, to that idea of I try to go after I've eaten because mm-hmm. I have gone when I'm like famished, like I'm like so hungry and then you reach for like basically everything yeah so yeah not good so okay what's the first so you say you kind of make a list a grocery list but i like the uh it's a a novel idea to me anyways like of kind of splitting up the list into those you know those food categories so that's a good idea Mm -hmm. okay so what's the first thing you buy um first thing i buy is pretty much non-refrigerated food so dry food oh and then that's mostly my complex carb choice which consists my quarter of my meal portion Ah. so uh my carb choice is brown rice Mm -hmm. mainly i buy i think i buy brown rice about once a month Mm. and sometime oat rice Mm -hmm. i i was able to find a lot of other options nowadays right there's a lot out there yeah and Mm then uh, when i first came back to Korea from the States, I was looking for lentils mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I couldn't find them. And then nowadays, lentils they have are lentil so here. popular yes. and then they're very affordable too. Mm-hmm. So what I do is I, I mix brown rice, some oat rice and mix with lentils mm-hmm. and then soak overnight mm-hmm. and cook it in, in a um, in a more of quantity because I don't eat rice every day and uh-huh. then uh, cooking whenever I want to eat rice is kind of like a long preparation. So I soak overnight and cook it and freeze in a small containers. Ah, I see. So it's like my uh, my healthy frozen instant rice choice. But it's not unhealthy because I heard like the the instant rice you buy like at the markets are really. Uh, it wasn't it you that said it's really like unhealthy. There's like extra calories. I heard. Um, so that's really bad for it's you. It's a lot of. Uh, Preservatives. Preservatives. Preservatives and, yeah, so not healthy. So that's a, a great option, right? Freezing any whatever rice that you make, right? Mm. And um, I, I, I eat pasta often too. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the whole wheat pasta, sometimes it doesn't really taste, <laughs> that taste great. as good. <laughs> as so, the, yeah. And I found this great option, uh, brown rice pasta. I found this really? at, 
at uh, somewhere I can buy things in bulk. Uh-huh. And they have I it found there? this. I'm like, okay, I will try this. And then the but texture, it tastes okay. The texture is like is like a regular pasta. It tastes <gasps> I'm really gonna try great. it. It okay. has a lot of dietary fiber mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and some protein as well. So I think that's a great option. And also, mm-hmm. I found this lentil pasta. Really? Made with lentil. It looks pink. Uh huh. And doesn't really taste as good, but has a lot of protein. It's like protein, chunk of protein. Really? Okay, so I'm going to tr- try this then. Right. Yeah, so I use that for pasta salad. I just throw it mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. my pasta salad. Or um, what, I, what I do is, because a lot of pasta is... Pasta sauce are very salty, either salty or greasy. Yeah. So what I do is, because I love spicy, mm-hmm. I use hot sauce mm. <laughs> as a dressing. Oh, so, in your pasta? Yeah. Or like no other... Oh, I get it. So it looks like a tomato pasta because the sauce is very red. But it's really uh-huh. spicy. It's yeah, hot. Yeah, spicy and low uh. in calories. Uh-huh. <laughs> so that's what I do. Never thought and about that. Mm. Also, I buy some whole wheat cereal. Oatmeal, mm. nowadays a little bit chilly, so I love oatmeal. And whole grain bread or mm-hmm. rye bread mm-hmm. for, for breakfast. Mm. Or my to-go meal. I make sandwich and then I take it to go. Oh, I nice. To eat outside. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, I'm going to try that. I'm very curious about the bri- brown rice pasta because you mm. said it tastes good. Yeah, it tastes so good. Uh, I'm due to go to that place you're talking about this week, so I'm going to try to look for it. <laughs> uh, what about um, any other non-refrigerated food? You remember uh, you said uh, that a little while ago? Um, I don't buy these every time but some jarred and ca- jarred or canned food um, not every time but maybe once or twice a month mm-hmm. i buy uh natural peanut butter uh or pasta sauce for my uh for my pasta mm-hmm, or salad mm-hmm. and i love doenjang oh so it's a spin paste uh-huh. uh, i love doenjang so i buy some doenjang paste mm-hmm. for uh, some doenjang soup mm-hmm. and sometimes i buy canned tuna because mm. sometimes i feel very very lazy and right busy. so incon- it's convenient i mean yeah it's <laughs> convenient sometimes right. not every time right and balsamic salad dressing oh that's for, my favorite for my salad mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and olive oil for many of my like cook- cooking right and nuts Mm. Uh, I, my favorite nuts is almond. Oh yes, yeah. yummy. But nuts are expensive. They are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really expensive. <laughs> like I love like nuts also. But every time I go to that place, I'm like, oh, it's kind of expensive. I know they give you a lot, but still. But when you think about it, uh, people think people think healthy uh, grocery shopping could be expensive. Mm. But when when you think of you eating out with your friends on the weekend, and it usually costs about at least I guess twenty bucks, mm. and like a big bag of walnuts are about 20 bucks so True. and then you can eat it for like a month true so, okay so when you put it into perspective yeah. it's not that expensive mm. and it's really healthy yep mm. what about in terms of refrigerated food yeah so after i after buying all this dry food first and i go to refrigerated section and mm-hmm. then my uh, ma- major um, major choice is protein and fat choice ah. which is a lot of dairy dairy and mm-hmm. meat which consists of quarter of my meal. So okay. quarter of my meals, complex carb. Another qu- quarter of my meal is protein and fat. Okay. So I buy. I usually buy low fat milk, yogurt, mm-hmm. and cheese. Sometimes. Yes. I buy some sliced cheese yesterday. Yes. And the expiration date was so long. <laughs> So I bought it yesterday, and yes. the expiration date was 2016 February. <gasps> really? Yeah. For wow. Like three so months. a good three months. So I guess there's a lot of preservatives. Preservatives. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But cheese, well, you know, right? Um, yeah, I don't. I don't eat sandwich. I only put it in my sandwich, and I, I don't eat sandwich every day. Right. But yeah, it was a pretty shocking. Mm, mm, and mm. also, I buy some soy milk pack, like a little soy milk, sure, or to go drink. Ah. So I don't buy like expensive and fatty drink outside. Okay. And eggs. I, it has to, like, eggs, um, mm. tofu mm-hmm. for my doenjang soup. Right. And chicken breast, my major uh, protein source. Yes. Uh, I, I try to buy natural chicken breast and cook them, but... Mm. Um, they sell it in in packets. I know which one you're talking convenient. about. It's very convenient. It's tasty. Yeah, it tasty tastes pretty good, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah. I, and it I, says I, it's I only it. 50 calories. I don't know if it's true on the packaging. Mm-hmm. So, if that's true, I, I get that too. 
It's, uh, <laughs> I, I chop it up and make it into a salad when I'm in, on, like in a hurry. So yeah, I think mm. I think that's better options than other fattier options. So. Right, because <laughs> yeah, so you're like ah, uh, lesser of two evils, right? Mm. What about in terms of frozen foods? Um, I don't buy frozen food too often, right? But uh, what I usually have in my freezer is frozen blueberries. Oh, yeah, me too. For Love topping them. on my yogurt mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then a lot of other dessert. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I buy frozen mixed veggies Ooh. for busy day mm-hmm. or when I run out of vegetables. Right. Because my vegetables um, cons- like contribute half of my meal. So mm. quarter is complex carb. Mm-hmm. Another quarter is protein and fat. Right. And half the, uh, the rest of them. Mm-hmm. Our vegetables, but we're gonna have to get to that next week because I can't believe it. I mean, I think it's because we're talking about food. Wow. It's already eight fifty. We ran out of time, but that's perfect. We got through half of the mm-hmm. the grocery list, so we'll continue with the other half next week. Of course. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Shine. We'll check in with you next week. It's time to get healthy with our final corner of Monday Morning Health Matters. We have Shine back in the studio. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, so um, how was your weekend? It was kind of wet, right? Yeah, it was raining all week. Mm. I actually went on a church wide re- a church retreat, mm-hmm. and it was all raining. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the entire weekend, right? <laughs> uh, well, it is Monday, and it's kind of raining again, but uh, they say it's going to clear up later on in the afternoon, so you can mm-hmm. look forward to that. Well, um, I don't know uh, if our listeners remember, but last week, didn't we talk about like your personal like uh, grocery shopping habits and things like that? Yes, we did. Mm-hmm. So I talked about um, my grocery shopping tips. Sure. I make a grocery shop- shopping list. Mm. I personally um, like to make a list by what I need to eat. So carbohydrates and protein and fat and fruits and vegetables. Ah, so that's right. And making this list prevent you from buying more than what you need. Mm-hmm. And then you can buy like nutritious food. And then secondly, for um, complex carb choice, which consists a uh, quarter of my meal, mm-hmm. I usually buy like brown rice, lentils, and pasta. Right. I talked about like rice pasta That's or lentil right. pasta. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I really love them. Mm-hmm. And um, for protein choice, I mm-hmm. my, protein, my protein also consists of quarter of my meal as well Mm -hmm. and they're usually like chicken breast eggs tofu right and uh, we talked so much about food and then we (laughs) ran out of time (laughs) that's right uh Mm -hmm. you know uh once you get me talking about food it's hard to stop me but uh so let's um uh do you do most of the cooking in your household or yeah so when i am like taking care of myself Mm -hmm. and working out yes i usually cook meal at home Mm. and then eat home cooked meal rather than buying outside or eating outside right because you don't know what goes into your meals Mm -hmm. um sometimes when you go to restaurants there's lots of like additives preservatives and of course the calories they kind of add on up right Mm -hmm. all right um so uh let's talk about the um the remaining of your grocery shop Mm -hmm. uh shopping list so I talked about quarter of my meal is complex carbohydrate right. and another quarter is my protein and fat. Mm-hmm. And then now we have a half of the plate. Just imagine a round plate. Yes. If you're trying to build up a healthy eating habits, try to prepare a half of your plate with vegetables mm. along with a quarter of complex carbs and another quarter of protein and fats. Okay. Mm. So um, where do you usually buy your uh, fruits and veggies? Um, I prefer Mm Shijang, local traditional market. It's like farmer's market, but it's not not really farmer's market you see in the States. Yes, yes. Um, But I love shopping here because it's cheaper and it supports the local farmers as well. There's Mm. less less chain. Right. So we... yeah, so the middlemen are kind of... <laughs> yeah, supply chain is shorter, Ow. Yes, so we pay less money, and they get more money, I I think. Right, right. Where do you shop usually? Um, I do, uh, like as you do, um, um, I get most of my vegetables and fruit at the traditional market at a Shijang. Mm-hmm. And for the stuff that I that I can't, like they don't have it there, I do go to like the, the local mart. So I kind of split it. Uh, maybe like 60, 40, 60 towards the, uh, the traditional markets and 40 at uh, the marts and things like that. Mm. Um, so what kind of veggies and fruits do you buy? Um, 
Garlic and onions are must-have in my kitchen. Okay. So I use them almost every time I cook. Mm. So when I when I cook pasta, I chop garlic and onion and then, you know, put it in a pan first. Yes. And then add a lot of different vegetables mm-hmm. or some meat to make the pasta. Oh, lots of flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And also I love spicy pepper. We oh. call it dengchou. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I also use them for my cooking a lot. Mm-hmm. And green leaf. Leafy vegetables, mm-hmm. like such as such as kale and spinach, mm-hmm. are my favorite. Right, and some lettuce too. So it's for my. It's mainly for my salad. Okay, and bell pepper and carrots. Oh, yummy! They are great snack mm-hmm. because they're crunchy and a little bit sweet. Yes. So it's a it's a great alternative for like sweet or crunchy. Craving, mm, mm, mm. and I also buy some sweet potatoes mm-hmm. during the season. Yes, because they are a great alternative for a carbohydrate choice. Right, and broccoli, they are amazing. Oh, yummy! Um, yeah, I, I I use it for a lot of my cooking as well. Mm. And zucchini and mushrooms, they have great flavor as well. Mm-hmm. So I make a list, but when I see fresh seasonal vegetables yes. in the market, I go for it as well too. Right, this is where you can splurge. It's it's good for you, so mm-hmm. it's okay. <laughs> yeah, and for fruits, right? apple and, apples and bananas are must have in my kitchen. Mm-hmm. So I. I eat apples for breakfast. I just had an apple mm-hmm. on the way here. Okay. And also banana because when I feel lazy yes. and then don't want to prepare anything, don't even want to chop an apple, uh-huh. then banana is my just choice. Just peel one. <laughs> just yeah. peel it and eat it. <laughs> and other seasonal fruits, um, seasonal fruits are healthier and cheaper yes. and fresher. So if any, uh, nowadays the seasonal best, uh, fruits are persimmon. Mm. Yeah. Persimmon. Oh, um, come. Apples are on season two. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, so, oh, I love, I have to say, um, my kitchen is always stocked with a lot of what you said right now, um, mm-hmm. the veggies, the vegetables, and the fruit. Um, uh, but sometimes I feel like, sometimes, not always, that um, there aren't as many as variety of some of the vegetables like I used to find in, in the States, relatively speaking. Sometimes mm. they're kind of hard to find. Yeah, I remember like shopping at farmer's market and then was amazed by like how variety right. was it. I'm like, what is that? I've never seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> like when uh, I was studying in California mm-hmm. back in 2010, I lived in a vegetarian house fam- host family. Mm. So I got to enjoy a lot of different vegetables. Yes. Uh, and I also got a Local organic produce delivery mm. every week. Mm-hmm. I remember splitting the cost and sharing it with my roommate. Right. So it was very affordable for me. Mm-hmm. And I loved it because I was able to try different variety of seasonal vegetables that I never even knew before. Oh. You know, when you shop for yourself, you tend to buy and eat the same kind of vegetables. Mm-hmm. Like Just like I listed earlier, I usually get them and then don't really try other things yes but when you get this delivery box Mm -hmm. this encourages you to eat more variety and learn to cook them as well oh very interesting Mm. so i was curious if anything similar is available in korea yes and surprisingly there are several organic produce delivery services Ah. in korea okay so you can search online i i type like local produce delivery in korea or Mm. Mm -hmm. and you know it's great option if if you are into supporting local farms and eating fresh seasonal vegetables. Right. So that's like a win-win situation. Good for your health. And you're helping out, of course, the supporting mm-hmm. the local farmers. Um, what about uh, the, all the things you mentioned, I have to say, are like ultra, like really health conscious. No junk whatsoever. You don't ever buy anything unhealthy. Oh, uh, well, I... I'm a human being. My weakness <laughs> is hot and spicy food. Okay. So sometimes I crave for like tteokbokki or mm. like spicy noodle. Yeah. Like yum, yum. I try not to buy them in bulk okay. and store them in the house. <laughs> so I just go for it whenever I feel like it. But what's nev- what's something that's like never on your shopping list? Um, Something never on my shopping list is soft drink. Okay. Soda or fruit juice even. Mm. Like because when, le- when you read the labels... And ingredients, it There's has a lot of, sugar. Lot of added sugar, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. artificial sweeteners, or right. or even color, mm-hmm. high fructose corn syrup. Those are these are 
these train your tongue mm-hmm. to crave sweets. Ah. And if you're used to this kind of flavor when you're as you as young, yes, then you tend to have sweet tooth as grown up as well. Ah. I think I personally don't have sweet tooth. Yes, because my mom never bought them when I was young. Oh. I don't remember any time when we had soda or any juice okay. or anything. Yeah, mm. and sweet snacks like cookies or candies, ice cream. It's really weird, but I don't like ice cream. <laughs> so <laughs> really? <laughs> these are never on my grocery shopping list. Interesting. But mm-hmm. I do have like sweet cravings sometimes. Yes. And the great alternatives when I feel like eating a sweet snack, um, this is really great. I, I bake, not bake, I make banana pancake. Oh, yeah, those are good. You don't need any flour or sugar. Mm-hmm. Just one banana and two eggs mm-hmm. can make four pancakes. Cool. This is amazing. When I feel like eating some, you know, some junky food, I do this. Okay, let's do one more because we're running out of time. Mm. Okay. And I I love yogurt and frozen blueberry top. Oh, yeah, me so too. When I, when I mm-hmm. feel like eating something sweet, I have yogurt and blueberries. No added sugar, mm-hmm. good to go. That's right. I, I, I do that too. I make my own yogurt and I put the frozen uh, blueberries on top. So delicious. Yeah. Well, oh my gosh, we run out of time again because we're talking about food. Uh, but <laughs> uh, thank you so much for sharing uh, the other half of your grocery shopping list and really encouraging all of our listeners to eat healthy. Thank you, Shine. Thank you. I'll be back after this.